the grad schools that I've applied to. Like I applied to photography school, I already have a book of photography published. I'm applying to journalism grad school. I already have like I think published. Hello face, how are you? Answer. Where is this? Oh I see the face. Do you guys see it? It's right here. That's an eye, it's an eye, that's an L. Hello face, how are you? Answer. I am well, thank you. How are you? Answer. Can, can you help me with these thoughts? Wow. How can I overcome the darkness? What lies beyond this cave? What will happen after the 400 days? I guess we already kind of know what will happen after the 400 days. Um, what lies beyond this cave we kind of know from the Easter egg. And we're not supposed to really ask about it. So let's ask, um, let's, let's do a little therapy and say how can I overcome the darkness. I will grant you my wisdom, but I demand an offering in return. This seems like a scam. We are totally not going to do this. We're never going to talk to that face again. <laughs> and that's all I know. Let's go. I agree. <laughs> I like getting notifications from LinkedIn. <laughs> and it's never important. I've gotten like two important LinkedIn messages in like, what, like 10 years? <laughs> but the funny thing is, is that, um, when I did start getting notifications from LinkedIn, I started checking them because just, I don't know. I don't know why. Um, and I, the second important, the, one of the only important messages I got was like right then. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. That's, a little, that's really loud. Yeah. There we go. Maybe some of these are redundant. Uh, let's just walk by here. I think I'll go for a walk inside now. There's no one calling to call my high name. I hear it and I just can't stay outside all day. I gotta go into this cave. Dude. <laughs> Everybody's laughing. Cave days, everybody's something. Cave days, everybody's something. So happy today. Is there any instruments on? I kind of just prefer let's just go to let's go to walk to a random place. I will take a little stroll. Let's see where I end up. I guess they wanted to go here. <laughs> that way I can rest my head on my fist and I don't have to use the mouse. They say in some movie restaurants in the Middle East, sometimes they get excellent choice. I can go down that way, so maybe one out. No, I don't know. I 
wonder if there wasn't a thing for them. I don't know. It's talking to that Jiri person, that was also like the nicest thing I've said all year, because that's how mean they were to me. Oh, nice. Let the spirit of the cave guide you. May we be blessed as we go on our way. May we be guided in through the blue. May faith and compassion bring health and joy. May this be our blessed day. Amen. Oh no, that's where we were, right? I think I still have my hand on my face over here. It feels comfortable when you're using technology.
Oh, we're gonna read too. Yeah, let's just go home. We've had a very productive day. So we can read another page and then watch the night. No, we were headed home. Okay, alright. Maybe we'll find some more instrument pieces of wood or paper on the way home. It would be nice to find more paper. But we're still waiting for the yellow piece of wood. So. Or, I guess, coal. Ah, familiar territory. There are all these weird, like, conspiracies about applying to grad school, like, who makes the decision, and then who you end up talking to the whole time, and then, like, their job training tells them that they have a part in making the decision when they don't, so they're always on a power trip, so as to be like, um, yeah, like, this person, like, I get to decide whether or not they get accepted to this school, and then it's like, no, they don't. Like, do you really think for, like, $10 an hour, you have, like... As like, um, as like an undergraduate, you have a decision about like who gets to get a doctorate at that school, like who's like already a college professor. Do you think you get to pick like who gets to be a college professor if you're like a 18 year old kid? And um, so they're all on power drives, and then. Um, like, probably the person who picks whether or not you get to go there has, like, three doctorates. And has been, like, working at the school for, like, 30 years. And not, like, a, like a week. You know? <clears throat> a lot, I've heard, actually, that a lot of students who work in admissions at, uh, for grad schools who are undergraduate, um, they don't know what graduate school is. They don't, like, they think you're, like, going back to school because you flunked out the first time and that they're doing better than you. So they treat you like a dropout, kind of? <laughs> I've heard they also usually don't look at your resume, even though they have access to it. And, um, like, they don't know how old you are, they don't know your resume. Um, they don't know if you worked before. They don't know what other schools you've been to. And another conspiracy I've heard is that, um, is the letters of recommendation. Because the school